What up, shit? Timmy was here. Now, you know, I always do get a kick out of, like, uh, Christmas films. I mean, I I even get a kick out of, like, uh, cheesy Hallmark Christmas movies. Well, Netflix, you know, has been getting to the habit of uh, pretty much doing, like, uh, Christmas films almost every year. Uh, and they've actually set dates for about four of its upcoming uh, Christmas uh, slates. Alright. And they include films that feature the likes of two main girl stars, Christina Milian, and, you know, even uh, Chad Michael Murray here. Uh, so first up, Netflix will release the Christmas film titled Meet Me Next Christmas on, on November 6th. It stars famed singer and actress Christina Milian, along with Devel Om Ellis, Ralph, Rofi Cerubo, and many others. Uh, here's what it's about. In a pursuit um, of a fairy tale romance with the man of her dreams, Lyra must race through New York City to get her hands on the hottest ticket in town, the sold out um, Pentatonic Christmas concert. Uh, I, that actually does sound interesting. Now, I met Christina Milian, who I used to have a crush on uh, back in the uh, early 2000s. I still remember her when she was in that movie, uh, Love Don't Cost a Thing. Who remembers her that? Or that um, Tommy Lee Jones film, uh, Men of the House. Who did not love Christina? Christina Milian back in the days. Uh, well, her last couple of Christmas films has, or Netflix rom-coms, hasn't been the best. But this does sound like it'd be interesting, so I'll give it a um, bad note. And of course, I'm biased because it's a New York City film, and I'm from, and I of course live in New York, so I'm biased there. I'm pretty much biased there. Alright. A uh, second film um, on this list, the film titled Hot Frost or, or Hot Frost Anime. Uh, which stars Lacey Chabert, speaking of Hallmark films, by the way. Uh, now, of course, Lacey Chabert, you might know her as a Gretchen from Mean Girls, but lately she's mostly has a habit of, like, she, she mostly, I guess, like, have a, a big deal with Hallmark. She does a lot of Hallmark films nowadays. But Hot Frosty sounds like a weird premise, but two years after losing her husband, Kathy magically brings... Brings a handsome snowman to life, to the um, naive uh, to to um the uh, naivety. The snowman uh helps Captain uh to laugh, feel, and love again. As the two fall in love um, fall in love uh each other just in time for the holidays and before he melts. So it's pretty much a film about a woman who falls in love with a snowman, and I mean. Frosty the Snowman, I, uh, I guess. Okay. Now this is actually now this also stars the likes of Dustin Milligan, Katie Mixon, uh, Joe Lo Tarugo, uh, and Craig Robinson. So I mean, this could be cheesy, but hey, I'm all for it. You know, I again, I always get a sucker uh, for like cheesy Christmas films, so sign me up there. All right. Now, if you guys don't know, Lindsay Lohan had had her share of Christmas uh, film. You know, recently uh, a couple years back, she did that. Um, Oh, uh, that one Christmas movie with uh, the Glee guy. Uh, what was the name of it? Uh, F Falling for Christmas, I think it was called. Believe it or not, I actually was able to uh, see um, Liz Lohan in person, you know, at the uh, premiere for it. So, cool. cool time. Uh, now, hot, uh, Our Little Secret is actually directed by Stephen Herrick, who has, who has, has some iconic stuff. You know, he did uh, Bill and Ted, The Mighty Ducks, Critters, Mr. Holland's Op Opus. Uh, so, yeah, now he's been doing Netflix films lately. Like, he did uh, this party film with uh, Victoria Justice. He did this Rob Lowe dog movie last year. So he's more keen on Netflix films nowadays. Uh, but in Hello Secret, it stars Lindsay Lohan along with uh, Kristen Chenoweth, uh, as well as Ian, uh, Ian Hardy, Henry uh, Kersing, and Chris Parnell. It's about two insensible exes are forced to spend Christmas under the same roof after discovering that their uh, current partners are siblings. This also has like a Mean Girls reunion, by the way, because it also features Tim Meadows, who you might know played uh, Principal Duval in the uh, in both Mean Girls and the recent um, Mean Girls musical film. So that's interesting, right there. A little surprised that Mark Waters isn't um, behind us, but okay. All right. Last but not least, uh, we got. Oh, and again, uh, our little Christmas will premiere on November twenty seventh. Uh, Mary, 
The Merry Gentleman uh, will premiere on November 20th. Uh, this film stars Britt Robertson, uh, along with Chad Michael Murray, which is, of course, Lindsay Lohan's co-star in Freaky Friday, and he's in the upcoming Freaky Friday sequel. Uh, we also got the likes of Marla uh, Scola, who we might remember uh, from Full House fame. Uh, we also got Maxwell Caulfield, who you might remember from Greek Shoe fame. Uh, the Merry Gentleman uh, is about a former big city dancer who uh, stages an all-male uh, Christmas-themed revenue to save her parents' small-town performing uh, venue. Sound definitely sounds like a Hallmark film there, uh. But I don't know some interesting uh Christmas films um here. I mean, I think the one that I I'll probably give a go obviously is uh, a little secret. Um, Hot Frosty could be interesting. I mean, granted, majority of these movies could be terrible. That's always a possibility because not all not all Christmas uh Hallmark like Netflix films is a win. Uh, so. I don't know, hopefully this is a good one. Like that uh, recent Heather Graham one that came out last year with Jason Biggs, that was a stinker. So these could easily be bad, but I'm, I'm all for it because, hey, I do love good, cheesy uh, Christmas films. Like Christmas movies are always my favorite genre, whether it's like, you know, classics like Home Alone or, uh, you know, The Grinch or Christmas Story or sometimes Hallmark uh, films too. So hopefully these could be decent. Anyway, let me let you guys, which of these Christmas films comes to Netflix are you interested in? Are you interested in um, The Merry Gentleman, uh, Our Little Secrets, Hot Frosty, Meet Me Next Christmas? Uh, or, or also there is another Christmas film uh, coming. Is that uh, that Christmas movie, which is like an anime one? That's not really, that's already been given a release date, so... Uh, and, you know, are you even a fan of, like, either Netflix Christmas movies or even Hallmark Christmas films? Uh, and, you know, bonus question. Which one do you think makes Christmas movies better? Hallmark or Netflix? Drop comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell for notification. This is the same